All right, I'm not gonna waste any of your time here. Let's just teach you on Arnold Press right from the get-go. So make sure you're paying attention, take some notes if you need to, and let's jump into it. So the Arnold Press is a great variation of the shoulder press. If you guys don't know how to do that already, we have a form video on that. Please watch that first because there's some little small details we go over, and you definitely wanna make sure you have that down before you advance into this, which is kind of like a really good additional accessory exercise. So next up, um, the beauty of the Arnold Press and understand why it's good for you is you're actually gonna start by working a lot of your anterior head so we're in this front position and we're doing some rotary movement through to that lateral head and just kind of pushing up so it's a really great way to switch activation and really focus control so because of that just to get started you're going to find yourself a bench you want to make sure you're on a slight angle i don't like to be dead straight up i find it a little bit awkward i like having a little bit of lean and i like to posture myself so i'm going to come back posture myself so you're going to start with your hands supinated and that's just a fancy word for having them facing you so you can see the dumbbells are facing me here we don't want to come in too far where it's awkward here, you can see my chest is engaged. This is how I would contract my chest. So we wanna be in a strong position about maybe a little outside of our shoulder width here, elbows inward. Now from here, we're gonna push and rotate and squeeze. So you can see I same thing, I'm coming down. So when I get clients to do this, I'll usually say, hey, just start with your hands. So we're starting here, coming up, rotating through and squeezing, okay? So we're starting with that into your head, then we're rotating to the lateral head, pushing through that lateral head and squeezing together. Now. For contraction here, we don't necessarily need the dumbbells to touch together. We just need to squeeze our shoulders as much as we can. Some people might need to touch them together, others may not. Now you don't want to drop them like this right away. Instead you want to just rotate through the movement, keep it in control, come all the way down, rotate through the movement. All the way down to about shoulder level, rotate through the movement. And that's about it. It's nice and simple, but if you want some more detail, Kyle's gonna show you three common mistakes and how you could avoid them. Actually, before Kyle kicks me out and uh, gives you two more awesome tips, I'm gonna give you one I'm very passionate about, and this is the rotation. So the entire benefit of Arnold Press is this rotation. It's that transfer of tension from that anterior head to that lateral head, and we're recruiting more of both heads, essentially. When you're in a normal shoulder press, of course, you're gonna have lateral and anterior, but here you actually have that rotary movement. So the shoulders are a ball and socket joint, and they can move many multiple dimensional ways, right? Whereas bicep is limited in its path of motion. It's a really unique and exciting muscle group. So that's why we recommend you don't go too heavy with the Arnold Press. It's more about control and a really clean movement. So when I'm back here, a common mistake I'll see is people jumping the rotation. So they'll come up, like they'll come up with supination, which is a fancy word for your hands facing you. They'll press up and then they'll rotate. They'll come down, rotate. You're not doing anything here. You're just screwing around with your wrist at the end. So our goal is to actually transfer that tension. So I start here and as I'm coming up, I'm rotating evenly throughout the lift into that contraction and same on the descent. It's all about that even rotation. When I introduce this to a new client, what I recommend they do is I'll actually take their hand and I'll kind of do it for them so they get the feel of it and that seems to work really great. So before you even try out the weight, literally just sit at home, I mean even you're on your computer, your phone, whatever, stand up, sit down, whatever you like and just practice an even rotation through the movement and you will feel the transfer of tension in the right way. And common mistake number two is taking tension off of the shoulders and I see this done far too often. A lot of people will bring their elbows down towards like the belly button and that's just gonna put tension on you know a little bit of your chest as well as your biceps. You wanna keep your elbows up nice and high throughout the movement so that way you can keep all the tension transferred to your shoulders which is what we're trying to work here. And common mistake number three is just doing this exercise too heavy. If you guys really wanna go heavy to build your shoulders, I would recommend doing OHP and shoulder press. This is all about control and just really working on the balance and the rotary motion of the exercise and I recommend just using a way lighter load, getting contractions and focusing on doing that for this exercise. And thanks so much for sticking with us guys. You can click the first link in the description down below to get a full form guide for every exercise you need. It's kind of like a personal trainer in your pocket and it's absolutely free. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.